A local radio news anchor says Senator Al Franken groped her for more than a decade. And tonight, President Trump is raising eyebrows with his tweet about the scandal. CBS 2's Peter Dowd is here now with more on uh, this news today. Yeah, Rick and Pat. Leanne Tweedin says she wanted to speak out sooner but was afraid of potential backlash. Franken, meanwhile, is now apologizing and says he welcomes an investigation. Just thought he could get away with it and that it was okay. Leanne Tweedin, a morning news anchor on Talk Radio 790 KBC, says Democratic Senator Al Franken forcibly kissed her during a 2006 USO tour when he was a comedian. He also posed for a photo with his hands over her breasts as she slept. And he just put his hand on the back of my head and he mashed his face against, I mean, it happened so fast and he just mashed his, his lips against my face and he stuck his tongue in my mouth so fast. I remember I pushed him off with my hands and I just remember I almost punched him. Tweedon says the incident happened when Franken forcibly kissed her during a rehearsal. More than a decade later, she still feels betrayed. I was afraid to speak out 11 years ago. I wanted to say something and, and there were people around me who said, oh my God, you will get annihilated and you will never work in this town again. And I was afraid of that. Now she says the tide has turned and she wants to help other women speak out sooner. Franken has apologized, releasing a statement that reads in part, I don't know what was in my head when I took that picture and it doesn't matter. There's no excuse. I look at it now and I feel disgusted with myself. It isn't funny. It's completely inappropriate. I am asking that an ethics investigation be undertaken and I will gladly cooperate. Top lawmakers in the Senate call the allegations troubling and say they support an ethics investigation. Sexual harassment um, is inappropriate in every circumstance, in every way, whomever is involved. Franken was also criticized for a series of rape jokes he made about journalist Leslie Stahl that were reported in a 1995 New York Magazine piece about Saturday Night Live. Suggesting lines for a sketch, Franken reportedly said at a script meeting, I give the pills to Leslie Stahl. Then when Leslie's passed out, I take her to the closet and rape her. President Trump weighed in on Twitter. The Al Frankenstein picture is really bad, speaks a thousand words. Where do his hands go in pictures two, three, four, five, and six while she sleeps? And to think that just last week, he was lecturing anyone who would listen about sexual harassment and respect for women. Leslie Stahl tape. Tweedon says she was inspired to speak out after hearing Congresswoman Jackie Spears' personal account of harassment. She accepts Franken's apology.